All right, this is lesson one of our new unit. We are going to be working on geometry. All right, and first for our lesson, we're going to go over some terms. We're going to look at points, lines, rays, line segments, and types of angles for this first lesson. Before we move on, we have a learning goal. Our learning goal is I can identify several features in two dimensional shapes. These features include points, lines, line segments, rays, and angles. All right, and your essential question is, how do people use geometric terms to describe shapes? A level four here is, I can independently describe several features in two-dimensional shapes using these geometric terms, and I can discuss the similarities and differences between two two-dimensional shapes using geometric terms. A level three is, I can independently describe several features in two-dimensional shapes using the geometric terms. A level two is, with help from a teacher or peer, I can describe several features in two-dimensional shapes using geometric terms. A level one is, even with a peer or a teacher assistance, I cannot describe several features in two-dimensional shapes using geometric terms. Now, before we move on, what I would like you to do is I would like you to take that learning goal in that rubric, and I would like you to write the learning goal and the rubric, so a four, three, two, or one, I would like you to write that in your notebook in your own words, okay? So how would you describe that learning goal in your own words? And then how would you describe being a level four, three, two, or one in your own words? Please write that down before you go any further, all right? And if you need to pause or go back and look at the learning goal while you're writing this, you are more than welcome to do that. After you do that, please make sure you rate yourself, all right? So you should have rated yourself and you should have described the learning goal in your own words, in your notebook. So let's get started. This right here, I know it looks like a period. When we are talking in geometry, that's called a point, all right? And you can have a point A, a point X, a point B, Okay, because usually in geometry, things are labeled with letters. So these are all examples of points. You can have a ray, all right, and it might look like this. With a point B and a ray. So a ray has one point and one continuing line in one, that's important, direction. So we have a point and then something continuing in only one direction. And that is a ray. Think of it like sun rays, okay? In the sun, you have, like if this was my sun, should probably make my sun yellow. That might be a little bit better. If this were my yellow sun, if I have rays coming out of the sun, like sun rays, right? They're starting from the sun and going out in one direction. Okay, one direction each. So this is a ray, it's going in one direction. A ray, one direction. A ray, one direction, like the band. All right, moving on. A line segment. A line segment can look like this. So you'd have a point, a dash, and a point. And it could be like line segment A, B, okay? A line segment is two points connected by a segment. Okay, so you have one, two points that are connected by a segment. It does not continue on forever. So we're going to write that. Does not continue forever. Okay, it stops. The line segment has two places that stop at those points. All right? And then the last thing we're going to talk about today is a line. A line is 
a line is a line, really, or a segment that moves in two directions forever. Okay? It doesn't stop. Notice there aren't any points, okay? There are arrows on the end of the line indicating that it continues to go on forever, okay? That's how it's different from the line segment. So a line has arrows at the end, a line segment has points at the end. The next term I would like to talk about are parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that continue forever and will never meet, okay? So these lines, if they were to continue on forever, they would never meet, they would never touch each other, okay? They'd keep going in the same direction forever and ever. These are also parallel lines. They'll continue forever and ever and they will not touch. Perpendicular lines, I like to call them a plus sign. Okay, because they look like a plus sign, don't they? Okay, perpendicular lines are lines that meet or intersect at a 90 degree angle. Okay, and a 90 degree angle is like a corner. Okay, so we make that little mark to denote that it is a perpendicular line. This is also an example of a perpendicular line. It's just turned. This is still a corner, it's still a 90 degree angle. These are non-parallel or perpendicular lines, okay? These lines, if they continue on forever, will one day intersect, all right? They will one day cross each other. So these are intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines that cross at one or more location. Okay, so these intersecting lines are crossing right here. At that location, they meet. Okay, they intersect. An angle. An angle is two rays that meet at the same end point. All right? So you can see I have an end point here. All right? These end points are meeting, and you have a ray and a ray. And these two rays together make an angle. And there are many different types of angles. A right angle is a 90 degree angle. Okay, it meets at 90 degrees. That's 90 degrees. It is a corner. Okay, that's how I always remember it. 90 degree angle. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So this here, it's narrower, like if this were a 90 degree angle, it's narrower than the 90 degree angle. So it's an acute angle. This is an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that measures greater than 90 degrees. Okay, so here it is. Okay, this is wider than our 90 degree angle because the 90 degree angle would look like this, right? It's wider than that, so it's obtuse. Okay, your homework tonight is to draw a picture of any robot. 
You must include and label these things in your robot picture. I need to see a line segment in your robot, a ray, maybe that could be like a sword, a point, an acute angle, an obtuse angle, a right angle, parallel lines, and intersecting lines. All right? Great work, and I will see you tomorrow.